Hey guys, Ivan here and today I got some really really interesting topics to go over with you guys So the first one is basically the news that Hadi got his visa It was posted by this Iranian Instagram page It's probably one of the most popular and quite reliable Instagram page So Hadi is in Hadi is doing Arnold Classic UK Which means one thing Everybody else is fighting for second Well, actually Samson is doing it too So I guess everybody else other than those two guys is fighting for third and as far as first and second yeah i think that's pretty clear at this point after all that happened with samson and you guys know everything after him uh, parting ways with milos after him being hospitalized and uh, seeing how much he's focused on the vacation after the show yeah we're not gonna see a much improved version of samson and hardy we can be sure that he's gonna bring it even if he is not like this this build like in the arnold ohio Still, it's most likely gonna be enough, because the difference in conditioning at the Arnold Ohio was rather drastic. Now, this is Samson's home turf. The show is in his backyard, the audience will be cheering for him, and Hadi is traveling basically the last day, and it happened back in 2020, when he also flew the day before the show at the Mr. Olympia, and he was holding water on that stage, so it's a possibility that he's not gonna be as peeled as he was at Ohio, but still, I don't think Samson is going to surpass him. I don't think Samson is going to improve much. I actually think Samson is going to be a little bit worse. But even if he is the same, even if he is 10% better, I still don't see him closing the gap between him and Hadi because of this insane conditioning. Maybe Samson is going to be able to crack it for the Mr. Olympia, but right now, I don't see it happening. Now, now let's go to the more interesting topic for me. What is the reason? why Samson wasn't able to bring conditioning so far. So, on the most recent Cast episode, Milo Sharchev basically talked about Samson Daura the first time since they stopped working together. There is also the podcast with Dennis James, but they filmed that on the day when Samson made those stories before he actually told Milos anything. So at that time they were officially still working together, but in this episode, finally Milos comments on what Samson is doing. More precisely, he speaks about what he's doing wrong, what was the problem, what was the issue, why Samson was never able to bring good conditioning. Now, if you watch my videos about Samson, you can hear him basically saying very often that he needs to find a coach that's gonna help him bring those final details, that's gonna help him with the finish of the prep, that's gonna pick him right. He believes that he needs to find a secret formula, a magic peak week protocol that's gonna get him condition this Hadi, which is definitely not the case, I spoke about this before, I said that what Samson needs is better conditioning, not just a good peak week, better conditioning, and if he's conditioned, he doesn't even need the peak week, a lot of bodybuilders don't even do peak weeks anymore, they just find the look, two weeks, one week out, and they cruise into the show, and why would they change anything if they look great in the gym two weeks before or a week before? Samson looks soft in the gym, two weeks out, one week out, three days out, and he looks soft on the stage. You can only do so much in the peak week. Yeah, it can get you drier, it can get you harder and fuller and all that stuff. Sure, peak weeks work. I'm not saying that nobody is doing them, a lot of people are doing them actually, but what Samson needs is better conditioning, lower body fat percent. And then a good peak week would be an extra, a bonus. But now let's hear what Milos has to say exactly why Samson was unable to come in conditioned. If Samson finally listens to everybody, it's not just the noise, but every expert was constantly saying, bring more condition, bring more condition. He would have to listen and suffer because we know what it takes to get Hadi Chapman conditioning. Hadi was doing the three hours of cardio, and he still does that. I, I mean, there, there are levels to this game, and if you really want to be ripped, peeled, that's when it takes. If they told me to do three, hour, three hours of cardio and eat nails, you I was willing it. to do that because I was so hungry to be the best in the world, right? Well, in a way, I did try, so don't, don't get me wrong. I did try to express this. <sighs> All right, all right, very, very clear explanation. I had no idea it was like this. This is the first time I'm hearing this. This is the first time Milos opens up. And he was only able to do it now that he's no longer working with Samson. 
And so far, everybody was putting that on Milos, that he's the one to blame why Samson is not coming in condition, but apparently Samson is not willing to suffer. He's not willing to do hours of cardio. And I did hear this before on Manny's podcast. Dennis was like, why can't he get conditioned? And Milos was like, that's as far as he can go. Like, he's suffering as much as he can, and that's it. And Dennis was like, come on, don't tell me that. Like, he can suffer more, he can do more. But Milos was like, no, that's it. And then also, after the Mr. Olympia, Dave Palombo interviewed Milos, and Milos said basically the same thing. That's as far as Samson can go. Dave also wasn't buying it, he was confused, just like everybody else. And the way I perceived that was that Milos is not a high cardio guy, because he never did cardio back when he was competing, but Milos never had issues with conditioning. Dexter Jackson also never did cardio, but Dexter, the blade, he doesn't need to do it. Samson does. He thinks he can get away with it, but he cannot, obviously he cannot. And if Milos wasn't able to push him, to make him do it, then I don't know who will. I don't know if anybody will. Samson was never able to go to that extreme to bring peeled glutes. And it's not thick skin. It's not a wrong coach. It's just him not being able to suffer. But you could say it's genetics that are holding him back because not everybody is able to suffer hard. Bodybuilders with that kind of mindset, with that kind of mentality, with that kind of ability to really go through hell, to not listen to their instincts, to do what they're told, to be hungry for success, those guys are the Mr. Olympia winners. So if Samson doesn't change that, he's never gonna win the Mr. Olympia. At this point, it's not only the audience, it's not only the fans who are criticizing him, it's the judges. Tyler Mannion is making videos and literally saying that Samson needs to come in condition. So, at least we got our answer. The reason why Samson is not coming in condition is because he is not willing to suffer. He's not willing to do cardio. Milos also says that he's training really hard, that he's working out very hard in the gym with weights, and I'm sure he's dieting very hard as well. But when it comes to cardio, which is the most difficult part, by far, especially when you are so depleted, already super lean, in the final stages of a prep, when you need to do a lot of cardio, and you need to do it very hard because your body is used to the previous intensity, that's when it gets super super tough, and that is what separates champions from second and third place finishers. Samson has the muscle, he put in the work as far as that, he has the genetics, he has perfect shape, perfect proportions, perfect symmetry, what he needs to do now is, as we all know, he needs to come in conditioned. How? 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 Now we know he needs to freaking suffer. He needs to do three hours of cardio or more. It doesn't matter. He needs to do whatever it takes if he's willing to become the best in the world. We'll see if he's going to be able to. At least now we know what is the issue. It's him not being able to go all the way in. Alright, now let's move on. We got another very interesting thing about James Hollinshead. So first of all, he posted this, uh, this post on his Instagram. He's shutting down his Instagram before the show and also after the show he wants some time for himself and then Sunday is also his birthday and then he's gonna be back on Monday. So he's gonna take a couple of days off of Instagram, which I guess is understandable after seeing what happened to Samson. I guess it makes sense to take some time off of Instagram for these bodybuilders. We'll be able to watch them on live stream on channels like mine, on Instagram pages. They don't have to make posts during the competition, right? So it makes sense. That's fine if he wants to. If he feels better this way, that's okay. This is his last physique update. And if you read the caption, he basically says that he is trying really hard to maintain the weight. He's eating like 800 to 1000 grams of carbs a day. And he's loading right now, and he's loading with junk food. The plan is to spill over before, like two days before the show, and then to dry out. So it's not really a regular peak week protocol. He's doing a front load. So he's loading, and then he's drying out before the show. We'll see how that will work out. I guess this guy likes to experiment a lot. We'll see if this is going to work or it's going to backfire. Anything is possible, so he doesn't have a safe uh, formula that he figured out. He's gonna try something crazy. Maybe it's gonna work wonders, or maybe it's gonna be a disaster. And at this level of competition, I don't think these guys should be experimenting like this. I mean, they are professionals, after all. A certain standard is expected of them. What John Jewett, for example, is doing is he's cruising into the show 
when he finds a perfect look like a week out and that makes a lot of sense and he always looks great on stage if you ask me this approach is amateurish i would expect james to do better but anyways i hope it's gonna work well for him but what you're gonna hear in this video is milo Sharchev explaining what happened between him and james because everybody knows james was telling everybody on every podcast on every instagram post everywhere on the internet he was telling the world he's working with milo Sharchev. and then all of a sudden after the arnold was over he was telling everybody that he worked alone that he prepped alone and that branch warren helped him and that his wife helped him and that his training partner helped him so what the hell happened nobody knew by now now we got a full explanation but from milos not from james james did not say anything which is really stupid if you ask me you tell the world something and then you just change it like out of a blue he should explain this because this relationship with milos was public it was everywhere on the internet if he wants to keep it private that's also okay but if you say you're working with somebody then you need to tell us when you stop working with them you can't just say one day you're working with Milos and then the other day you say I prepped alone it just it's immature and it makes him look like he has low integrity anyways let's hear what Milos has to say so you had three guys in the show actually I had two. Oh, yeah because uh, yeah I, I started with uh, James he hired me back I think August September something like that and uh, we were working perfectly, right? And and then I, I think he got uh, in, in a perfect shape, well ahead of the time. But then uh, when we he would send me the updates, right? It was sometimes okay. He had a refeed when it was not planned. So then I told him like, oh, well, why would you have a refeed? So he would say like, well, when he drops a kilo or more, you know, he panics and then he takes it. And that's how I was uh, following me. Yeah, so I said like, you know, do you need my help? We're just going to do it yourself. So, uh, I mean, he chose to do it himself. All right. All right. Interesting. I'm not saying that this is like something weird because I know a lot of open bodybuilders. I mean, the big guys, the heavyweight bodybuilders who are like that, who panic when they lose a little bit of weight and they need to have a refit or something like that. And those guys are usually the guys who never come in super conditioned. I don't know if Samson is like that too, but I don't think so. I think he's just not able to suffer, basically. And James... He's the kind of guy that wants to be as big as possible everywhere, all the time, on stage, off stage. And I definitely think he could have been more shredded on that stage. He was big. He was big enough. But he didn't have that grainy look. He didn't have that dry look. He looked very soft, right? Like the details weren't that deep. And, you know, it seemed like he was going to be shredded because Milos was prepping him to a certain point. And if he kept working with Milos, in my opinion, he would have done better. He would have placed higher. He would have been probably in that uh, top four. You know, he would probably be battling against Rafael Brandau. He would not lose to John De La Rosa. He lost to John De La Rosa only because John was actually dry. He was actually conditioned. He was crispy. James was not. And John was much smaller. James is a massive bodybuilder, guys. And he's afraid to lose a freaking kilo, <laughs> right? I mean, when this collaboration started, Milos and James, I always felt like this is not a good mashup. I was confused why James picked Milos, and he was just explaining that he did it because Milos is very passionate about bodybuilding, and he would motivate him in, in, in that way. So, yeah, I guess that was an explanation enough, but, you know, I didn't think that was gonna work out, and it didn't. You know, James started working things by himself, and we can debate whether it was a mistake or not. In my opinion, it was. I think James needs better conditioning, and I think he would have had it if he worked with Milos, but he probably believes that he would be too small, that he needs more frequent refeeds. So, you guys be my guest. Tell me down below, what do you think? Anyways, we now know what actually happened between these two guys. James wasn't gonna tell us, but Milos told us, so now we know. All right, and finally, we got a physique update of Wesley Wissers. I don't know at which point this was filmed. It was posted today. It's probably like from yesterday or something like that because Wesley looks super flat here. Conditioning is spot on. It's maybe better conditioning than the last show. It's possible. We'll see. We'll see what this package is gonna look like once he finally carbs up and dries out. I saw on his Instagram that he started carving up on Wednesday. So I guess this was taken on Tuesday at least because he looks super flat right here, especially his legs. His legs look so downsized, but that's only because he's depleted, guys. Do not worry. 
I'm pretty sure this guy has this victory again. Also, like his lats, his arms, his chest, everything is very, very flat, but this is not what he's gonna look like on stage. He's definitely gonna be much fuller, hopefully. I mean, hopefully he's gonna carb up successfully, but I mean, yeah, I think he's got it. So it's not only the conditioning and the fullness, I mean, he's going against uh, Urs Kalicinski, and he is much, much bigger frame-wise, muscularity-wise. He has such clean look and really classic shape, and he's very different from basically all the classic competitors. He looks like, you know, those guys from Golden Era, and judges apparently chose to go with this direction. They decided to reward this kind of shape, this kind of genetics. So it's really not so much about what kind of conditioning or fullness he brings. Yeah, it's about that too, but I don't think he can be that much off to lose this show. So I'm pretty sure he's got it. I'm pretty sure the judges will go with him. And I don't think he's going to lose any momentum because I don't think he's going to lose this show. If he loses the show, he's certainly not beating Chris Bumstead. He's not beating him probably anyways, but if he doesn't lose, if he wins this show, there is a slight possibility. Now, as far as his abs... He needs to do something about that, man. I don't know if he can, really. I mean, abs are, like, genetic, mainly. If you don't have them, you don't have them, but they are super, super shallow. It's, it's crazy how shallow his abs are. But hey, he's got a nice vacuum, and yeah, again, I think he's got this. I think he wins this Arnold Classic UK. Whatever you guys think about Wesley, James, Samson, or Will Sharchev, or Hari Chopin getting the visa, whatever is on your mind, please comment down below, tell me your thoughts, give this video a thumbs up, Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.